Another common question during the interviews is explain the differences and similarities between transient and temporary tables. You can extend this question to other types of tables or views, but for now, let's see the differences and similarities between transient and temporary tables. Let's first start with the differences. We, we know that there are four different types of tables, which are permanent, transient, temporary, and external. So we are talking about the transient and temporary tables. So transient tables persist until explicitly dropped. The only difference between transient and permanent is transient tables do not have the failsafe. Temporary tables, however, are only for that particular session and it is usually created for ETL specific data sessions, right? As called out, transient tables are similar to permanent tables in all ways except for the failsafe and uh, the cloning option. You can still create views just like the permanent views. Temporary tables as called out, those are session specific. Once the session is gone, the tables are also gone. Now the transient tables are specifically designed for transitory data that needs to be maintained beyond each session against on how the temporary tables are, which are session based, but does not need the same level of data protection as the permanent table. Right, so always try to remember this matrix, which gives you kind of all similarities, differences, and not only between transient, temporary, it could be permanent transient, permanent temporary, permanent external, and all permutations and combinations. If you could remember this, you could answer all kinds of questions in this kind of area, right? So those are the differences. Let's see the similarities. Again, we'll refer to this matrix and similarities are both transient and temporary tables contribute to the overall storage charges that Snowflake builds your account. So from the billing point of view and storage point of view, those still use the space and whatever space you're using, you have to pay for it, right? They both do not utilize the fail safe. There are no fail safe costs because they are not using it by design. And the other issue is that it is not part of the failsafe disaster recovery option. Time travel for both of these is only for one day or zero to one, default is one, which means the data in this tables cannot be recovered beyond that retention period, which is one day, right? Here is an example where it says if there is some failure and the transient table data is dropped or lost for whatever reasons, after that particular day, you cannot recover that data. So Obviously, wherever there is a need of recovery, you have to create them as permanent tables and wherever you don't need that, you can create them as transient and temporary tables, right? Those are the differences and similarities between the transient and temporary tables. As I've mentioned, if you could remember this matrix, you could answer any of the questions between any other table types.